This is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been long. Hi, everyone. These are my Christmas journals for this season, and I thought I would show you them and uh, do a flip through on, I guess, at least one of them. Um, I've had so much fun making them, and they just ended up being an explosion of textiles uh, that, that I've really enjoyed putting together. The cover images, the uh, girls who are playing the different musical instruments are from the fabric handmaids. Um, the designer is Jay Wecker Frisch, and this is her angel band. Um, it's the violin and a, a guitar. It's, it looks more like an old fashioned lute, and the cello, and uh, this one is also a violin. So let me. Let me see if I can focus on one here. This one I call Good Tidings. The spine in the back and underneath the cover uh, collage all have an antique dyed uh, doily. And underneath that there is an upholstery. I love this kind of tweed. It reminds me of uh, things I had in my childhood with that kind of a, a color. And there's lots going on coming out of the bottom of these as well. The front pocket of each of the um, journals has this fabulous picture from children's art uh, from one of my digis. And I did a lot of Christmas floral ribbons for pockets in these. They're stitched sari down here. A little sari bow to be festive on the front. And I'll flip and show you the inside back cover on her. The stenciling, and there's a similar doily antique dyed and stitched on as a pocket here in the back, uh, similar to the one that's on the spine. And the bottom is so much fun. I've just tapered layers of lace and burlap and ribbons and trim of all different flavors and types throughout these. So that is tidings. This gal is sleigh bells and another fabulous image of a gal from um, Jay Wecker Frisch's Angel Band. A little bit different upholstery. Nice and soft. I love these. They, they, uh, they're soft covered. They have a lot of give to them. And there's her title plate. And peek inside her. All of them have a jingle bell. I love that they they make a jingle. Sometimes I get so frustrated when I get bells for my Christmas projects and I get them on and I jingle them and they don't rattle. Another fabulous pocket here. Some poinsettia floral ribbon. This has a little sari bow at the bottom and some tinsel. Little pockets there. And 
Oh, each of these have a bookmark, which is removable. It's just, it's a ribbon. And at the bottom is a snowflake and at the top is a green or a red charm. And I've just got those draped right through the middle there so that uh, they dangle out or they can be used in whatever your Christmas reading is this year. I'm going to peek at the back cover again with the old doily stitched in for a pocket. So that is sleigh bells. I am going to completely flip through the last one here after we take a peek inside each of these. This one is Sugar Plum Fairies. This one has a red head on the violin. Lots of, lots of little buttons throughout. And that fabulous poinsettia lace. And more of that fabulous upholstery and inside with that image of Santa in his workshop. These images were um, drawn by art students back in the early 1900s and uh, they were compiled by an artist and put into a book. So in little pockets and inside the back so that is Sugar Plum Fairies and this journal is tinsel. Fabulous illustration design of her on the uh, cello. I just love this fabric. And collage. Did a lot of petting, a lot of tactile squeezing and feeling of these journals. So I will do a flip through of her real quick with you. Inside I have a great sari bow tied on some more sari that was stitched on. And the Naughty Nice Tags. Some stamping. Even some little tags. This is great floral ribbon. And I've just attached the Jingle Bell for this one. Got a quote page in each of these. This one has Wordsworth's quote catalog. Little Tim Holtz stenciling there. And this is from Tim Holtz uh, Merriment Fabric. And I've cut some fabric tags off of those. So retro and old fashioned. Some more stamped cards. This is my, my new favorite Christmas ribbon, floral ribbon. And uh, I've made it into a pocket on some Tim Holtz cardstock. A little pocket on the other side with a graphic 45 postcard inside, some old vintage ledger paper. This is one of the guest checks that I made on uh, and, and I 
put a little tutorial on my Instagram. So this easily can come out of this journal and attach to a calendar or your planner or anything else for extra, extra holiday cheer there. Got some more lace coming off the bottom there. Another stamped index card. The digi stamps that I printed onto the pages for this year's Christmas journals um, came out of an old Christmas book from the late 1800s, and I just literally pulled the image out and turned it into a digi stamp to print on these on these pages. Really great old school Christmas things I had not seen before. Finally got to use my Happy New Year stencil. Put an Edith Holden December page in each of the journals as well. What a great title page for a Christmas book that was. So many great old school illustrations that I had not seen before. This is a little page out of a Norman Rockwell mini book. Some more. Um, stuff hanging off the bottom of the page. This is some fabulous cranberry burlap that I found. These were fun. I took a blank staff music paper and laced ribbons through them and sewed some little lace and buttons on them. Some more stamping. I've got pages from Dickens' Christmas Carol that was illustrated by uh, Arthur Rackham. And so there's a couple of those pages throughout. This was a lot of fun. This is actually a floral burlap uh, ribbon, floral ribbon uh, with lace already on it. And I took it and collaged it and did button and beadwork to make it its own festive little thing on the page there. It's got like six or seven layers of muslin and tinsel and lace. A lot of fun making those. The little dangles have Christmas sayings on each of them. Little little bells that do, you know, they kind of clink together, but they don't jingle inside. They don't have that sleigh bell thing going, but they were pretty. I put a cluster of them in. Great vintage gal. More pages from a Christmas Carol. This is a really fun piece of edge of a tablecloth that I have been taking apart and I decided to put it on the side of the page with a little Tim Holtz Christmas tree there. And this is the other side of that music paper. That was another great page that I took out of an old Christmas book and plopped in there as a digi stamp when I laser printed. And another great image. And here is the bookmark.
This was actually 12 by 12 regular uh, Christmas paper and I folded it up and made a pocket and did some fun stitching. This is one of the stitched uh, journal cards that I have scanned in and put in my shop for a digital download. These are the originals that I just divided up in these journals. First page of Marley's Ghost. And each of these have a full page Christmas page from a collection of Rockwell. Got it all pinned together there. A little lace with snowflake on it. This is just a little faux letter to Santa. I used my um, I used my postage stamps from my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Don't Tell Cog. I get lectured when I put real postage stamps um, and use them for ephemera, but this is just a, it's actually a pre-printed thin paper um, that's double-sided that has the look of a textured tea-dyed paper. And I've just sewed it together for a, a journaling spot there. I loved this full page ad that I took out of something because it was advertising the new book Peter and Wendy by James Barry as a bestseller that you should consider buying for your kids for Christmas. Some more floral ribbon. I love the calendar stamp. I used some dark red uh, Distress Ink to get that on there. And some more stamped little tags. That's Gray Kitty chirping at my feet, wanting attention some more fabulous old lace that I cut off the edge of a, I think this was a crocheted table runner. And fabulous old art deco, Christmassy illustration. I also got new Christmas stencils this year. I had a lot of fun with them. This is another 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and I finally decided I had to do a ruffle or two in my, in my journals. I've been inspired by Angela Arnold over at Ellicat Designs. I've gotten several of her journals recently and they're so soft to touch. Just an amazing experience. I don't know how I have not had more ruffles in my books until now, but a little more lace off the bottom there. And this is just pages out of a Christmas decorating magazine. Another great Santa image. That is my favorite stencil. Had to put them right in the center. 
so he could get the full landscape of it. Another great toy picture that I grabbed from an old book. Santa working in his workshop. And another magazine page with festive decorations. Another great piece of the merriment fabric from Tim Holtz collection. Loved these vintage Christmas ads that I found this year too. That was nice to be able to add those. And another collaged index card with old stamps, old Christmas stamps. The stamps are actually part of one of my digital kits as well. Tracy Fox makes me want to put stamps in my work. And the back page, some more of that fabulous stenciling. And another collaged card. And this is a Graphic 45 postcard from their ephemera. So that is tinsel. And I think these will be the only Christmas journals I make this year. I am working on uh, the smaller magazine Christmas journal that I kept for myself. And I'm going to see if I can do my, my Christmas journaling thing in that this year. So thank you so much for popping by and, and looking at these these journals with me, I had a great, great time making them. And uh, I will be back with more journals. I've already got the covers for my next collection uh, just about put together. So thanks so much and we'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.